Welcome to the next session on uh, pseudocylomate uh, minor phyla gastrotrica. The gastrotrica, the name actually comes from two Greek terms, gaster, which means stomach, and uh, trica, which refer to the hairs. So here it is actually hairy bellied. Okay, that is the meaning, or hairy back. It is because of the presence of uh, cilia, uh, which is restricted, which are restricted onto the ventral surface of the body, ventral side of the body, and it is used for locomotion. Okay, so they are actually referred as hairy bellies or hairy backs, and it is because of the presence of locomotory cilia, which are present on the ventral side of the body, and uh, that gives its name. Okay, now this uh, gastrotrica it includes a very small group of um, worm like bilaterally symmetrical unsegmented aquatic animals and uh, they do possess very uh, like um, obvious spiny cuticular covering and two adhesive coral tubes. Okay, uh, as already mentioned, the body is um, um, bilaterally symmetrical, um, body is unsegmented. Uh, they do have a fogged tail okay they are microscopic as all they see uh, mostly fresh water but uh, marine forms also exist and uh, here you can see uh, the they have a fogged tail with a, a pair of adhesive tubes i'll show the picture okay they have a fogged tail posteriorly fogged tail and this fogged tail possesses adhesive gland or what is referred as a cement gland just like what we have seen in the case of Brachyonus, here also these uh, the secretions from the cement gland it is sticky in nature and it helps in adhering the animal onto some uh, solid structures. Okay, now uh, the body it is uh, ventrally flattened and uh, dorsally it is slightly dome-like. Okay, so I hope you can uh, visualize it. That is, it is slightly dome-like on the uh, dorsal side. The typical example is ketonodus and I'm speaking about this one, uh, dome-like dorsal side and flat ventral side. Okay, and uh, here you can see that the body wall, it is formed of cuticle and uh, uh, the cuticular covering on the dorsal side, it is modified to form. You can see here, very conspicuous scales, spines and bristles. It is on the dorsal side. Okay, and this gives the animal uh, a resemblance to certain ciliated protozoans. Okay. Now, uh, digestive tube, this is a digestive tube, okay, uh, in all the uh, gastrotrica, not only ketonotus, it is a very straight bar, uh, tube. The mouth is uh, actually, it is not terminal, it is subterminal, slightly shifted to one side, usually on the, uh, and uh, subterminal, it is, uh, you can see here, the pharynx is long and uh, muscular, okay, it is very long, very conspicuous, and from here onwards, you can see it is the intestine. Okay, stomach, it is imperfectly demarcated, it is very inconspicuous, while stomach, I'm sorry, intestine, it is uh, like uh, uncoiled, it is uh, very long. Okay, and mouth is bordered by oral bristles and uh, a group of sensory bristles. Okay, around the mouth, you can find these structures, right. Now, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, it is dioecious or monoecious in the sense reproduction can be sexual or asexual. Most of the marine species they reproduce uh, sexually because they are hermaphroditic. But almost all the freshwater species reproduce asexually by uh, parthenogenesis. Okay, and uh, uh, locomotion as already mentioned, it is uh, by ciliary gliding because of the presence of locomotor cilia on the ventral surface. The gastrotrica, they are found to be feeding on bacteria, protists and fungi. Okay, now going on to the uh, ketonotus. Ketonotus is a typical gastrotrica showing all the characters of a typical gastrotrica. Okay, as we have mentioned and the general characters of a gastrotrica. Ketonotus, it is a freshwater gastrotrica. It lives in the fine sediments or uh, detritus and its body is very short, unsegmented covered with locomotor cilia on the ventral side and the, uh, the body is elongated dorsally it is arched ventrally it is flattened and it uh, it is differentiable into the body is differentiable into head trunk and a uh, forked tail with the uh, two or more caudal organs uh, or glands for adhesion okay the head bears um, mouth 
photoreceptors, chemoreceptors, and a tuft of sensory bristles on either side of the mouth. Um, cuticle is elaborate and uh, it is formed into scales, bristles, and spines. Ketonotus, uh, just like any other uh, gastrotrichs, they show ciliary gliding. It feeds on dead organic particles and also on live protists and bacteria. The food, it is sucked into the mouth by powerful pumping pharynx. As already mentioned, pharynx is muscular. It is long and elaborate. Uh, keto notice, you can see the males are unknown and hence the reproduction is solely by parthenogenesis. The parthenogenetic females, they deposit eggs on the aquatic weeds uh, uh, and uh, it develops into the females. So that is about the Ketonotus. Okay, so this is about the very small, uh, very uh, lowly represented uh, phylum that is a gastrotrichum. Okay, right. Thank you.